Wow. <laughs> that was a good and bit right troll motor. Oops. Wow. That fish smoked it. Get in here. Oh, better bass. Boy, noggin him. Solid, solid fish. That's what you always say when a good keeper, you call it a solid bass. What do you think of that? <laughs> so I'm gonna talk a little bit about something. Um, just put my old boat in on my lake I grew up on Memorial Day weekend. I generally don't do that, but it's a pretty day and I want to do a little bit of fishing. A little bit of talking, maybe. Um, I already caught a couple fish first five minutes, so maybe a decent few hours. But people look at you. People don't know, people don't understand. And they think I'm a rich guy because I got this 20 foot bass boat with this 200 horsepower motor. It's a matter of perception for people. There's people think I'm a rich dude, and I ain't. I'm going to talk about that. I'm Dale Verts. I'm kind of a poor old-school bass fisherman. I'll be right back. So one time a while back, I was struggling. I always seem to struggle. Worked fairly hard most of my life. I mean, I know there's folks that worked harder. As a kid, I bucked a lot of hay, mowed grass, cut firewood. Had regular jobs, finally went to work selling sporting goods and boats, which is no way to make a living either, but I tried it because I wanted to be close to the sport I loved. Um, money is not that important to me because I never have had it. When I did have it, I didn't know it. Before kids, I spent all my money tournament fishing, and of course you don't make much back on that, so I get that. Um, and I'm not complaining. I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me. I can't get my wife to feel sorry for me. Well, what do I want you guys to? <laughs> um, but I was struggling. And uh, I wasn't going to be at work for a while. Just a short while, but I didn't want to get in trouble. Had obligations and bills to pay. So I went to my banker, who's a really cool guy, but man banks, golly. And I borrowed some money. Just a little bit to get me through for a few weeks so I didn't get behind on anything. And in that time frame, I got to catch this fish, okay? Let me catch this fish and, well, not a big one. Maybe I'll have to catch him. So during that time frame, there come a bass tournament. Not a big tournament. But there come along a bass tournament. Oops. Bye, guy. See ya. And I decided I wanted to fish it. And basically, I, I realized I was using the bank's money to fish that tournament. I never borrowed money to go fishing. And I know lots of people that did. A lot of people lost everything over bass fishing. I mean, Rick Klein lost his house in the 70s trying to be a professional bass fisherman. So it could happen to anybody. I, I never let that happen to me. I remember about 2001 or two, I was pretty much done fishing. BSS was at Lake of the Ozarks. And after it was over, there was a guy standing on a corner at Osage Beach, Missouri, down where the tournament headquarters was, trying to sell his tackle. Literally had rods and reels and boxes and bags of tackle. Just so he could get back home, I think it was North Carolina. And uh, a couple guys helped him out and just gave him some money. Good Samaritans. So he had to sell his stuff. One of them asked me, so what happens if you sell this stuff? What are you going to do? Well, I'll have to buy more. And he said, you're going to keep doing this? And I'm not done with it yet. <laughs> it's what happens. Tournament fishing gets in your blood and it gets you in trouble. I wonder if he was married. I wonder if he's still married. So I did the same thing. I... Uh, I didn't borrow money to go fishing, but I used borrowed money, it wasn't my money, to fish a bass tournament. <laughs> what do y'all think of that? Pitiful? Well, the pitiful part is that that was just a couple weeks ago. 
That little Tuesday tournament I fished, I was fishing on Banks money, not mine. So, I tell you this story just to try to relate to you that I'm just a regular dude in a regular old boat. These people back at the ramp think I'm a rich guy. A lot of them don't own boats or have little boats like kayak guys look at me. The ones that don't know about boats. And since I'm telling you all this story about what a poor bass fisherman I am, check out my solar bat link in the description. How's that for a segue? I love my solar bat. Solar bat. I love my sunglasses. Yeah. I just lost a good fish. It's got me shook up. <laughs> they got a 30% off sale through Father's Day on everything. They got great performance fishing sunglasses. They also have other utility type sunglasses, shooting glasses, and a prescription 30% off. That could save somebody some serious money. So thank you all a bunch for watching this poor broke down old bass fisherman. And there's a kayak over right now. Probably costs more. I'm sure it costs guy more than this boat costs me. I'm sure of it, so it's all relative. But those folks that think I'm something special or got something special with this old boat, I struggle every day just like everybody else. Our business is going good again, but I've never been able to make any money in the restaurant business because I can't cheat, and apparently you're supposed to cheat to do it. So that's my story. I'm Dale Verts. I'm kind of an old school, poor bass fisherman, and I thought y'all would like to know that. God bless y'all.